What a night in Canadian football. The second CPL fixture on the docket. And it is time for the Canadian Premier League's Tony Bet match of the week with York United hosting Forge here in North York, Ontario. As we introduce you to the starting 11s and begin with the hosts led by Martin Nash. Nico Giantsopoulos is in goal. He plays behind a 4-2-3-1. Parrish G, Max Ferrari, the left and right back respectively. And for Bobby Smirniotis and company in a 4-3-3 today, at least in their transitional play. Maliko Alabi Bellow, the left back. Razar Barama, the right back. Ashin Yodi Janssen and James, the center backs. Hujabapur will hold with Becker. Wow, that's quite the stat. Receives the ball from Kyle Becker. Running at Max Ferrari. Behind the captain, but Hujabapur is there and he shoots. Gorgeous. Into the 60 yard box. Six for Campbell. How has he not put some power on that? They're going to try Owolabi Bellabu's direction again. Why not? It's been working. Becker, tasty again. Gorgeous over. Following up is Hamilton. Giant stop pass tonight. But it falls to Taron Campbell with no defenders around and he makes no mistake. Taron Campbell with five goals now on the campaign. And the CPL's all-time leading scorer is finding his form. I was just going to say, look where Hamilton is. He's on the entirely opposite side of the pitch. But if they can find a way to get Hamilton more involved and more influential, that is a terrifying proposition. Well, I like the fact that he went more central. 3v3 again. Borges into space. Hamilton lines up the shot at the post. Giant Sopolis had no idea where that ball was. And luckily for York, there was no second striker that time to clean up the scraps. Petrasso wanted the ball, Rama is hustling back into position, a bit too late to catch them off guard, but they do complete the pass. Petrasso just delaying, now Jeremy Gagnon-Lapare. Gagnon-Lapare, Henry pushes that off the bar! <laughs> Classic 3-3-4. Yes. <laughs> That looked like it might have caught Hamilton's hand. We play on Jensen has a go. Oh, Jensen off the post again. Are you kidding me? She hits off was nowhere near it. Inside of the post and out behind him. Those are agonizing. A hit though. This is Borges for Campbell. Beautiful ball, Taron Campbell. Oh, he is a cool customer. As he has a brace in just 32 minutes of work. Inch perfect delivery from Tristan Borges to set it all up. It is absolute and utter shambles for York United with still 60 minutes to go. allowing them to get the ball up top at all. Here is Tristan Borgia trying to end it. Goal is trying to flex, and he's going to get his goal. August the 20th of last year was the last time Tristan Borgia found the score sheet. He gets some luck, but the run is over. And it's against the York United again. That could not have gone worse to start the second half. It is going to be an agonizing 45 minutes from here as Forge have a third and the three points all but locked up. Pretty much at this stage, I have to sign someone and trust that they can play. Tabi Schwanier in the 54th minute. Advancing on his right foot. Trying to go around G. Crossed over Campbell. The hat trick. One more box on his CPL resume. Ticked off as he has a third goal of the game in the 54th 
seven minutes. It's done. Give them the three points. It's three goals for Taryn Campbell. And it is just the sixth hat trick in CPL history. It is the third from Forge. Should be James nothing wrong with that. Didn't touch the guy. He got booked for. I know. It's that's three now. I don't. I, I don't think we can take that out of the game. The decision's not going to be reversed. And now, York have another opportunity as they go over the wall and Henry. Welcome to the match, my friends. Denying the Salma Lou with a great reaction. Jumping over to the right and now off to defend a corner. All of those things are for days later to sort out, plan, and try and improve upon tonight. The traveling Barton Street Battalion will enjoy the fact that they dominated their closest rivals. A Taryn Campbell hat trick and Tristan Borges scoring his first goal of the season and ending a very long drought. This is going to be a tense handshake, I imagine, but the frustration, I think, not towards each other, but towards some of the things that happened on the pitch. Thank you.